G'day and welcome back to Duxilla Gaming and Transport Fever 2. That's right, we are back at Transport Fever and continuing on with our transportation empire building. All right, we've just seen the train come back into here and get some more oil. Now, at the end of the last episode, the first episode, um, I was wondering why I was getting no oil from up here. Well, oh, sorry, from over here. And the reason why was, well, it's not providing oil, it's taking oil and making taking raw oil and making refined oil. Um, I needed to actually run that line down to here. So as you can see now, we've actually got the train down here, collecting oil from here and taking it up. So that's much better. All right. Now, the other thing is we've also taken, uh, oh, sorry, before I do that, um, we've now also set up our a bus um, network in Mimili. So in Mimili, we've got two bus routes, one that goes up one side, and then another one comes up the other side, basically. Uh, we've got a train station, a placeholder train station in here ready to go. That's where we're going to put our train station when we do put one in here. Uh, but we've also got a, a bus route going from Mimili um, all the way over here to Gunning. So we've got Gunning and Mimili connected, and we've got Gunning and Carlingford connected up here by bus or Landau to be pronounced. More precise. Sorry. Um, okay, now we also did take out a loan because we were getting a little bit low, low on cash because I did want to start setting up our um, uh, lumber and, and forestry uh, job up here. So what we've done so far is we've connected in a, a station here with parallel lines coming through, a station here with parallel lines for the next lumber thing with a through line. So we've got an express line through. Um, we then come through and we've got the next station up here. Sorry, I'm all over the place at the moment with an express line through and then that comes up to the north here and then we're coming into our sawmill. So we need to set the sawmill up now. That's what we're going to do right this instant. So what we're going to do is just to make it a bit neater and easier, I'm going to extend this road down there like so. Now you see all those little finger points that go in, that, that shows you that's actually got um, connection points into the industry. And similarly, it does the same for the train stations, obviously. So if we come in here, we go building, I want a through cargo station. Uh, and I'm gonna put that in there like that. Uh, it does exactly the same thing. So you see all the fingers, that's the pedestrian entry points basically, and that's how it uh, connects in. So we're gonna put that there like that. Right, now. We've got to bring this out. I'm probably going to delete part of that and bring it around on a decent line. Um, now, in here, uh, how am I going to run this one? Each of my stations basically ends up being a little bit different for no real reason. Um, I think so. This is a terminus for outgoing as terminus for incoming. So, I think what we'll do is we'll. Um, Put that in. I don't need a through line really through here for the moment, so that's okay. So I'll put the platforms in like so. Then put another set of tracks in. There we go. Another platform. And some more tracks. So I've got three, at least, what have I got? Three. One, two, three timber inputs. I'm going to have four. So this one's going to be connected as well into here. So I've got four coming into there. Now, the next thing is this lumber needs to go down here. So maybe I do need to be careful of how I'm running this because um, I may well run it back down through this way. Anyway. We'll, we'll cross that bridge a little bit later. We can we can always modify this again if we need to. So I'm gonna put that in there. Um, do I make that my through line or do I make it um, to? Oh, yeah. All right. Let's let's do this. Let's maximise this one out because I feel there's going to be a fair bit of um, stuff coming up through here. In fact, what I want to do thinking about that. Okay, I'm going to change what I've done there. Right, there we go, like that. 
So I'm going to have I'm going to have a loop. Now the reason I'm going to have a loop is that I found it works really really well. So um, tracks. Uh, oh, I don't need that anymore. It didn't come out of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to have because we're going to have multiple trains coming from these at some point in time. So to use four uh, platforms and not have any problems with congestion, we have a through line. Um, it, it works much, much better. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to bring in, uh, I'm bring that in there like that, and then a sweeping curve. Wow, sweeping. Let's say 80. There we go. All right, so we're going to do that. Um, I could do that. I'm going to bring that down there. Like that. And that one will have a nice curve into there like that. You will join into there. Again, nice and sweeping curves. All right, you're not going to want to do that easily, so we'll go the other way. That's one of the tricks too. If you find that um, going one way, you can't get the line to attach. If you go the other way, normally you actually can get it to, to take. So as you can see, that's all going through there. Fine, so that's all going to go up through there. Signals, one way, yes, and that's just going to go that way. All right. So we're going to bring our track back round down this way. All right, now this is our track down here. So let's just, right. Now let's, um, let's do the station approach first. So our station approach needs to be able to go into all of those. So quite simply what we're going to do is I'm going to go in here, track construction. I'm going to grab this guy here. Now, uh, what this enables me to do is I can do one, two, three, four. Right, so four tracks, right? So it's giving me five, so I need three, one, two, three, four, right. Now, uh, turnout, I'm gonna bring the turnouts right in. I don't need to be that far away or apart. And do that. Okay. Uh, something like that. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Right now, where's the other line gone? He's gone up here. So you're going to come down to there. You can come up. To there, and you're going to come up and connect into there. Bring you down to join up to there, and you'll follow that around and hook up to there. There we go. Right. Now this part here, um, we just bring these in straight into here like this. Okay. And then these should just smoothly. Bring all those lines in there. There we go. Merge them back out and they all fly out through that way. And there's minimal stopping in here. All right, so we need to put a couple more signals in just here. Uh, one way, yes, I'm gonna put a signal there. Uh, where's my other signal? Trying to make the signal spacing fairly equidistant. Just to make sure we've got flow. Okay, that's perfect. Right, excellent. All right, so that's that done. Happy with that? 
Now, the other thing I wanted to do though was make sure that if we need to go up and join into there, we can. So, um, we will also do a split through there like that. And started there, so come and join that there. You mean it's not possible? go a bit back a bit, little bit further all right um parallel all right bring that in and then bring that well actually no i don't want to do that so i want to put in my crossover first like that let me go back to here and then across and up to there Bingo, look at that. Awesome, 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 awesome. Right, now, that means we still go up and down through there. We still get up and down through there and that's all tickety-boo. Signals, need to put a signal in there. And one there and one there. And one there. All right, that'll work. Right, now, the reason why I want to do that, first off, is I want to put a depot in and I want to put up this end. So we're going to put this in again, like that. I'm going to get my tracks. I'm going to run these out, like that. There we go. And the interim, we're just going to put a building. There we go. What are we going, cash-wise? I'm doing okay. Getting this up and running will actually start making me a bit more money, but it's, it's the cost of getting everything up and running is the problem. Now, for the moment, I only need to have this going, this one connection. Don't need to worry about going everywhere else. Okay, so that's done. Now, setting up the route, the, the lines. So right, let's go. So we're gonna go new line from there to there. New line from there to there. And a new line from there to there. Okay. That's all sorted. Excellent. Now what I need is I need three trains to start with. Just three to start with. Five eagles. Dean. Now, looking at um, looking at the cost, thirty thousand, one hundred eighty-two thousand. There's one point one six. I just haven't got the money to afford that, so it's going to be. So I'm buying three trains. Remember. So buying three of those, that's 741,000. Then I need the cargo and I'm gonna be carrying logs. So 80, 50. Let's see if we can do that, buy those. So train three, gonna be line one, line two, line three. Okay, now let's name these ones. So this is going to be, um, where's it coming to? Carlingford. So train, sawmill, Carlingford 001. It's two. And that's three. Excellent. Done. All right. And here they go. Starting here. Now he's going to head out. Now, this is where we need to set up our lines. So what we're going to do here. Sawmill, right, so it's going into there. We don't want it into there. So let's manage that line. I want for Carlingford West that to go to platform five, right? So it's gonna come out here to platform five, okay? Now, the other thing I didn't do is I didn't finish that, la I did need that last um, platform. There we go. 
All right, so back into here again, manage the line. So it's going to use that line there. Um, so Carling for West, and I want it to use six as well. So it's going to use those two, okay? Not that it needs to at the moment because the fact it's got plenty of room. Right, and then I'm going to go to this one here. Same thing, Carlingford West. I want that to use four, okay? Uh, whoops, I'll use that for one at the moment. Just to get that down and around because it'll want to try and get to there. Um, that's what we need to do. We just need to set those up. So once we've got these three down there, um, we'll continue to, to fix those. So once he gets down in there, both of these trains, that one and that one following, then we can look at um, fixing those up. The first one we've got fixed, that's fine. So what we really would do here is if we come back into here, we would set this up so it can use four or three as well, right? So you can use any of those four lines coming back in. So when he's gone through here, Effectively, as soon as he gets through these points, then he, he can come back to this line. At the moment, he, he can't do it because he can't turn around, as far as he's concerned. Okay, so now we're going to go Carlingford West. Oh, so now it's up here, as you can see. And I've got the red and the orange. And then I'm going to do three, five, and six. Whoops. And six. There we go. So it's using all four, okay? And similarly, we'll do exactly the same thing with this guy once he's moved down. So what we'll do is we'll just fast forward him a bit more. I didn't turn this back on either. I meant to. I just turned it off while I was doing stuff off camera. So you don't miss any of the... Um, Here goes our first load. Now what I'm going to do is I want to pause and see how much he's going to make. I want to get this guy through here first. Right, just. So coming in here, into here, manage the line. So again, Carlingford West, we're going to change that. I'm going to put that on to three. Oh, no, it's not working yet. All right. Oh, I've still got to change it back. Let's have a look. We'll just see how much money he makes first. Two hundred fifty-six thousand a load. Not bad. Not bad. But see, our cost, our, our cash flow is a little bit different at the moment because we've just bought all that stuff. Right, back in here, we can change this now, but we should be able to. Carlingford West, right? So we're gonna change that one. So we're gonna change that to three, there we go. And then four, five, and six. And there you go. So now you can see that all three of these lines are using these four lines here. That's how they're gonna work. So anytime a train comes up here from either of those, um, those uh, output of those lines, they'll choose a platform to go into that's not, one of that's not being used and then they'll progress out and they'll go through and that'll provide a very smooth throughput. Um, so yeah, that's that's how that's gonna work. Right, and again, in here, we can configure our stations here. So we're gonna configure, oh, no, don't do that. I wanna go here and manage the line. So at the moment, this one's only using Upper Carlingford Platform 1. We want it to also use Platform 2, okay? There's only two platforms to choose because it knows these lines in here aren't associated with a platform, so it can't use it, okay? So there you go, that's excellent. And over here, we're gonna do exactly the same thing again. So we come in here, right? This station's got three platforms to use, so we should be able to use all three. So Carlingford North is where we are. We wanna use platform two, platform three, and there we go, uses those. Right, done. And last but not least, we've got this one here and manage the line, lower Carlingford, and we can platform two, and there we go. Have at it. All right, a bonus. It's all working. Excellent. All right.
So we've now got the first stage of our timber production running. Now I've got this other one over here to get going as well. We've got new vehicles available. What have we got this time? So more E5, no E6s this time. Um, look at the price though, 2.4 million. So it gives you an idea of how much money we're gonna to need to start upgrading our, um, what was I saying? So that incline's a bit strong. He's, he's having a bit of trouble up there. Down to 10 kilometers an hour. Stronger engines will obviously do that a lot better, but we did do that in very small chunks. And that's, so the longer, if I was to put some track down, for instance, right? So if I put track down here, it makes a smoother incline by the fact that it actually smooths it out over that distance. However, if I do it shorter, it's gonna be a lot steeper. So the grade actually changes. And that's why really what you should do when you're planning your railway line is you can actually use um, this tool here. Um, uh, this one? No, it's not coming up. Uh, that one, there, contour lines. So as you can see, we've gone up over the grade, right? Ideally, you try and keep to the same grade or, or minimize your grade going up. So all through here, it's all fairly level. Up through here, we've gone up a side of a grade. We haven't actually gone entirely up a steep incline, right? So that's that's sort of one thing you need to be keeping uh, mind of as you're going along. Um, emissions layer. Okay, so that's showing where all our pollution is. As you can see, where the trains are, there's obviously a lot of pollution, all the, uh, the cars. Anyway, that's okay. Uh, street traffic very light okay so it's all good at the moment because we don't have much in the way of traffic there's no what's the names uh, the stations layer yep okay um, the cargo layer we have the destinations layer we have track speed limits land use and the navigable water layers okay um, okay all right now look we're back in the positive we're in the blue I think on that note, it's time to uh, wet the whistle. All right. So, how are things going now? So, Carlingford up there is... How are we doing? Bit of demand. A few people up and around through there. Now, getting passenger lines will be the next part as well. Um, we will start on those. Um, a bit of demand in here. So look, what's our pedestrian? Public transport. Where are we at with our trains in? So, um, these guys here. So in here we should now be producing. Right, so we've got the oil here as well. So now, what we need to do is set up a route in here. So we've got the route. I don't think we've got a train on there as yet. So let's have a look at the line, no. So the next thing we need to do is get a train that's going to do the route from here to take our refined oil to our fuel processing facility. So let's, uh, this is going to really push the balance. Um, so again, we're going to go one of those. Um, the cargo is going to be, I just do this just to make sure we've actually got um, a reasonable 1.3 million and that'll take how much 50 that's 2 million for 50 oh, we're running out of cash quickly Well, cheaper using those, so we're going to go with those. Buy. We're going to set that to. I think it was that one. Let's have a quick look. 
So we should now have a train on there. We do now. Right. So, come over here, check the gunning sightings, and then we've got one train. Right. There he is there. All right. What do you say we go and have a bit of a, um, a train ride? We'll, we'll watch him as he's going out. So let's uh, let's observe the lay of the line, so to speak. Well, that's pretty poor there, but you get that. Sometimes it's, I do try and sort of smooth those out a bit, but there are occasions where you just can't do any better. You get some glitches and it just doesn't work. Like so, the signals you can see sitting up there, for instance, they're not actually in the ground; they're sitting just above. All right. Not much we can do about that. Up over the peak. I do like the look of the game. I think the game looks fantastic. It's been out for a little while now, um, but uh, hey, look, it's, uh, it's still great. And again, we're looking forward to the update um, with the new uh, models and that that are coming. New map. So yeah, looking forward to that indeed. So hopefully we'll head over here and we should be able to load up straight away. And we'll see. So remember when you're setting up your lines, the first station you click is where that line is going to start. So if you happen to have your depot closer to your other station you're going to or another station you don't go on the line, um, you can think about actually making that your first stop um, as opposed to the other end. So just, just be wary of that because if you do have your depot near to where your source is for your trip as opposed to your destination, then if you do it the other way around, you'll end up going to your destination empty, coming back empty and then going back up. So you're wasting all that money um, in maintenance costs and fuel and, and all that sort of stuff and wear and tear maintenance on your, your, your vehicles um, for no reason. Um, and trust me, I've done that plenty of times. All right, pretty close here. It's waiting for this train to come out of the station. Very good. So he's hopefully just dropped off some uh, crude oil. We're going to come up here and there you go. There's some, you can see the green barrels of oil in front of us. So there's crew, uh, refined oil here waiting for us. Whether there's enough for a full load or not is another matter altogether. Doesn't probably look like it. We'll see. No, oh, there is. Right, there we go. We've got a full load and now we're going to head back. One of the things I do like about this is the fact that you can sit here and you can actually take a, a trip on your actual train route, um, which can be quite relaxing if you're sick and tired of building, you just go for a, a trip and just see um, how your line looks and how everything's running on it. It's also a good way of identifying where there's any um, errant track laying or like where you've got bumps. So quite often by doing small um, builds of track, You'll get high and low points, and you'll, you'll be like doing um, like a roller coaster and going up and down um, in a roller coaster, but you don't don't really notice it as you're laying the tracks initially. So, um, yeah, that's uh, it's okay. So we can, we can look at that by going and running the actual rails. So after we've done this, we'll go and have a look and see how our timber run is going. So 
this basically brings this process into the second stage. So we've done the second stage now. So we're taking the raw material to be refined and then the refined material to be reprocessed further. So that's that's the two stages. Whereas the the lumber at the moment is only at the first stage because we're only taking the raw timber or raw logs to the processing plant to make it into lumber and then we'll take that over to um, the tool processing factory or tool factory. Getting up ahead of steam now, going down the hill. So that, <laughs> that line there that goes up to the, uh, the depot, so you've got this problem here. Um, it's on such a, a lean. Um, anything coming down through there would be very likely to tip. Under the overpass we built for our vehicle traffic. We've got dual signals there, why is that? Hmm. Around we go. waiting for here. Have a look. Mimley now accepts a new cargo type. We've got some E7s now. Very good. Right. And we've got a post bus ET13. Right, what are you waiting for? You, right. Okay, so I think here, look at this, we're making money. Isn't that good? I think we need to now look at putting in um, our rail line through here, our second line. Okay. Don't have to worry about doing um, the platform at the moment because all we need to do is just get this rail line out. So I'm just gonna continue that round through there. See, go the other way, it works. Bring that round through there. Into there. Signals, one way, yes. Signal there, signal there. And he should have automatically started up, and there he goes. Okay, cool. That's all we need to do there for now. Let's go back and follow him for the rest of his journey. He doesn't got far to go now. Past the gunning um, cargo station. Very bland, very light, lightweight. There's not a lot of stuff there, not much building. There's not much over in gunning either, really, but anyway. Off we go. Left turn. It's not that bad thus far, to be honest. Right, this area here, obviously, we've we've raised and we didn't really need to. We could have kept it uh, a bit lower, but uh, it's okay. All right, now we're coming in. Let's uh, come out of there, and we just want to see how much. Whoops, I'll go there. I want to see how much money we make from this load. Thirty-five refined oil. Five hundred and fifty-seven thousand. Nice, nice, nice. That that will obviously help. And this is where. So then you start expanding out and getting two trains, for instance. So you're, you're splitting up your, your time and get, delivering more. And we're 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 getting on our way. All right, excellent. So next, I'll let him continue on uh, over to where the timber is. Uh, which is over here. Let's 
see what's going on up here. Here we go. So if I watch this guy, so I'll watch him go up through the station. You got a bit of a sharp turn through here, but there was not much we could do about that. And this is where we take off. So that way there is to go up to the depot and the station. And this is our split here. So we're heading up. We're going to turn off here, get, follow around to the right, which will take us to the station. And there's a, there's a train coming out from the station. Bit of an incline there. And see what I was saying before, it's actually quite deceiving. Look at the inclines here. So yeah, quite deceiving. Anyway, that'll work. All right, how much are we going to make from dropping off the 36 raw wood? 256,000. Look at this. Look. Make a profit. All right. That's what I like to see. That is awesome. Right. So, uh, look at this lumber. See, now, this is where we get so much lumber built up, we can start getting extra trains running. As long as you've got the facilities to run the trains. So, like, for all this area through here, we've got parallel tracks. Uh, we've got all our signals in. So for here, it's not so much of a, trouble, a problem running um, these, these um, trains, these lines. Um, now, I wonder if he's going to have a tr problem. He probably will, going from there. So what we may need to do is we may need to put a slip back up to there. I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. May have to relocate that depot. Ultimately. Um, let's just see, we'll put... Give me a chance to make up some more money while I'm doing it. Put this through here. Oh, no, I didn't want parallel lines. Get rid of the parallel lines. That's definitely going to be one way going that way. Let's see if this is work, gonna work. Right. That one there. I want to duplicate it. That's all I gotta do. Just duplicate it. There you go. There you go. I've got two more trains coming in. Right, so we haven't got much money left now, so we may go into our into debt a little bit. We're just gonna see, because they'll bring in extra cash. So hopefully that'll be worthwhile. Now, of course, once we expand this out that way, I can just run another line up there to have the depot right there. Um, but I was just worried if I had the depot coming down here, they may not be quite so happy. 361,000 from him. Nice. I'll try and come up through here. This, this line here will be very busy. Um, I expect to have at least four trains on every station, um, at least for these, these ones here. So that'll be a minimum of 12 trains running uh, this line. Hopefully it will all go smoothly though. The other trains going up through. So there's our two new trains there, one there, one there. So we've got one, two, three trains heading back to load up, which means we've got two trains should be coming through with a load. So there's one there, and one there. It's a long trip though. Well, it's not really, but it is time-wise for these guys. And here he comes, he's coming in to drop his load off.
256,000. Very good. As long as we can keep our head above the water, basically, um, we'll be okay. Let's see where these trains are going. Oh, he's going up the far one. Okay. And you are going to this one up here. And then you are going up to the same one. Okay, so these two here will be interesting because they're going in basically the same area. Okay, so what you'll find is that what I should do don't really want to have it in here on an express line, but I'm going to have to. Well, no, negative, negative cash. Um, it's just a long space, so these are slowing down here because there's no, there's no signals through here. So I will put signals in here um, for the through traffic, just to keep it flowing. Although the problem with that is then it does impact these guys stopping. Off they go. Um, with that pause there, maybe it won't be an issue, but I was just thinking that both of these trains should be this station together. So we'll just pop up here and see. So look at this. So production is full, 3,200. Shipment, uh, transport, 3%. So we're really, we're not really moving much of the product. And that's what we've got to get better at. goes coming up into the platform it's full so quick I think one of the next things we'll do is we'll actually not just look at putting new trains in we'll actually look at extending the amount of carriages if they're doing okay with the the lay of the line we've got, then we can start pushing the limits of that a little bit. Um, so we'll see. And he comes in, so he's taken this, this line here because he knew this line here had a train coming through it. It's excellent. All right, well, that's where we're going to leave it for this episode. Uh, what we'll do is we'll get in the cab and we'll ride off into the sunset. Um, but that's it for this episode, like I said. so. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series, uh, being back at Transport Fever 2. Um, we're enjoying bringing it to you. If you are enjoying it, make sure you press that like button. That helps us out a lot. Uh, don't forget also to subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. And press the alarm notification icon as well, so you're made aware of when new videos are available on the channel. Uh, we are on the road to 5,000 subs, so uh, joining will help us get to there sooner and we would greatly appreciate that. So uh, please feel free to click that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to come and join us on Twitter, Discord and Facebook. Details are down below in the description. But apart from anything else, take care of yourselves and your loved ones and we'll see you again very, very soon. Back here at Duck Solar Gaming and Transport Fever 2. See you all later. Bye.